Here at the Ready State, we get a lot of questions about cervical pain with rotation. What do I mean? It hurts when I turn my neck. Well, one of the things I want to appreciate is that if you're just only using your neck to rotate, that's not really using all of the aspects of the system that help with rotation of the neck. So typically, your brain is actually wired to watch something and rotate underneath it, right? I'm like, I see you going on there. So we're not really designed to rotate. Of course we can, but that's not really what's going on. Check out Gary Gray if you want to know what I'm talking about. But one of the things that we want to appreciate is that, hey, rotation is actually a complex movement that happens throughout the whole system. And you'll notice as I'm rotating, I've got a lot going on at the leg. One of the things that we do as part of our daily warm-up is that we do these arm swings as part of our daily spin-up, and we're blocking the foot and rotating through because we appreciate that rotation is as much about what's going on with the foot and the hip as it is what's going on with the trunk, and looking at the neck and shoulders, right? So it's important that we're looking at this and then trying to improve it, that we're not just working locally, which is important, of course, difficult to rotate when I'm stuck out like a turtle, but that we're thinking about, hey, how can I improve rotation through the whole system? So clearly, having some internal rotation of the hip can matter, especially if you're a golfer, if that's important to you, rotating. But uh, one of the things that we know can make a big difference is to work on the relationship of shoulder to body. So part of what we're always talking about is to improve neck flexion, or neck function, excuse me, we should always be looking at also what's going on with the shoulder, right? So that the neck just doesn't happen in, uh, in isolation. So a couple ways that we can work to improve rotation through the system is twofold, and we call this downstream. So downstream of the neck, obviously having a better, more midline organized trunk potentially gives me better access to the rotation of my cervical spine, right? Just don't believe me, go ahead and slouch and turn your head and let me know how that goes for you. You just don't have full access to all the joints and all their best, best motion, right? Franz Bosch describes that the abdominals work best in this mid-range where we get beyond that and a lot of things become inhibited. Well, that's, that's an easy way of thinking about this. As I move towards end range, I have less length tension relationship and less excursion of the tissues, right? I just don't have as much rotation as I do mid-range. So mid-range gives me more options, but getting people to mid-range or having access to that mid-range is, is a big deal. So a couple things that we can do to improve rotation, especially in our rotation athletes, right? It may not just be about pain, but if it is about pain, improving how the whole system is able to rotate may change some aspect of how the brain is perceiving that persnickety tissue system or joint, right? So an easy way to do this for starters to get actually into the lats and really appreciate that lat stiffness failure to have kind of good lat excursion addressing where the lats are coming in, this lateral tissue system is coming into the shoulder can be a big difference. And what you'll see is that if you spend a little bit of time getting into the lats, especially from the scapula down on the rest of the body, You'll find out quickly, and notice that I'm just scrubbing all the way from the back, coming over the top. Working on that will do a lot very quickly to improve shoulder extension. And so if you can improve shoulder extension by opening up this tissue system, guess what you're able to do? Rotate your body more effectively. If you don't have shoulder extension, you're going to be blocked, have to create that somewhere else, especially in a thoracic spine that's designed stiff, right? Designed to be stiffer than the rest of the system. And you've got to make that up 100% from the neck versus being able to unload that, maintain a better length tension relationship. Why? Because you can reach into the back seat or you can grab your seatbelt. But look what's happening through the rest of the system because all of a sudden you'll realize that if you get on the roller and take a chunk at creating rotation through the abdominals here, so I'm just below the rib cage into the obliques and that tissue system, if I start to work on rotation here, you can appreciate the role of the abdominals, especially on that opposite side, on that contralateral side. So as I tack these tissues down and try to rotate away, you'll see like, holy moly, if I'm stiff at the bottom of the rib cage and through this oblique system, that's also gonna limit my rotation. And so all of a sudden, what you're appreciating is this incredible 
fascial system. That if I improve this shoulder function, improve this ability to have some tissue excursion here, suddenly I've done a lot to improve my rotation and I didn't even have to work on the neck. This is why we continue to work head to toe. We believe that there's no one aspect of the body that isn't important and that part of what we're doing when we do our daily soft tissue maintenance is just putting a little input in to make sure that we have full access to our tissue systems. Because even if we don't use them today, chances are you'll be uh, reaching for that seatbelt tomorrow or taking a swing or you know, doing something where you want to rotate. And there's no reason why you need to have a body with light switches turned off when you can have them turned on all the time with very little effort. So short, rotation just doesn't happen to the neck. It happens through the system.